Okay, so I want you to see if you can set up the problem. So let's first circle what's important and then see if you can do it. Okay, because I, I know you can. 32 minutes to complete two pages. 32, they gave us that first. Minutes, two pages. Okay, at this rate, how many pages does he complete in 200 minutes? Wow. Okay, so before we even do this, let's just divide those, okay? Because it's going to make our life a lot easier. What is 32 divided by 2? 16. So this person can read one page in 16 minutes. Okay, but they asked us in 200 minutes, okay? All right, well, let's do the math and see how many times can 16 fit into 200, okay? All right, because we need to know what to multiply by. How many multiples will this person be able to do? Can 16 fit into two? No way, Jose. Can 16 fit into 20? Good, once, one times 16, subtract, and we're left with four. Bring down the zero. Okay, how many times can 16 fit into 40? That's right, very good. Twice, two times 16 is 32. Subtract, I'm left with eight. Snap, it's not over. So I'll add a decimal point, don't be scared. Breathe, <laughs> add a zero, we're gonna bring down the water balloon. Good job. How many times can 16 go into 80? It's the same number of years as Hans will be turning in July. Very good, five. Okay, five times 16 actually is 80. All right, so, and I don't mind if you use a calculator for this type of thing, but it is good practice to see, to just show that you can do it, right? It's kind of like regrouping or um, borrowing. If you don't practice that skill, you know, it's always good to dust it off because they do get rusty. All right, so we're gonna multiply both of these by 12.5. Okay, because we know 16 times 12.5 is 200. So in 200 minutes, this person can read 12.5 pages. Nicely done.